cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? Wish popping. What's going on in the life of a cancerian for the month of May? Are you guys in this space of really, truly accepting things as they really come? Going with the ebb and flow of life, your ebb and flows of life. Kind of embracing that Capricorn energy during the Saturn retrograde of slight selfishness. Cancer kind of like, huh? I gotta be selfish. I don't know how. Some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boo, hey. This is your first time in my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time in my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Because even me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. Okay? Um, You guys, the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We look dysfunctional over here. Okay? We don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss. We grow, we share, we love, we enlighten, poly vibes only. Returning family, gang, gang, what's popping, baby? What's popping? What's going on with the hell? What the hell y'all been doing? Hmm. Hmm. How these, all three of these damn retrogrades treat me out? Because we got Pluto, Jupiter. I like Jupiter, though. And Saturn. I don't really like so I don't do much. But thank goodness I'm an Aries because Uranus with my ass, you know. And Saturn just coming around doing check. Uh, good day, mate. Checking. Just see what it is that you learned. That you learned to walk away from situations that are toxic at this time. That you might. Okay. Well, if you did, congratulations. You're freaking going to bloody graduate. Are you guys, I always, if, if, for my, my, for, uh, for my British uh, fam who do watch me. I love the way you guys speak. I always, in my head, my unicorns and my little unicorn realm reality, they talk like that. But look, let's keep it moving, you guys. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribers, comments. I truly appreciate it. Oh, my inner child been shining bright like a diamond for the last couple of days. So I'm praying that, you know, my little slight ADD don't kick in because, yes, all right? So we're going to rock it. Uh, I currently have a special going on. You guys, this is general. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below within the description box. Okay? I currently have a reading. Uh, a, well, special is going on with the personal readings. I have a 10-minute, one question, one answer, $10 reading. Okay? It's going to end on the, I, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to be fair and say, I'm going to say the 6th. I said the 5th, but I love y'all. I got to make sure everybody get their shot. So I got to see it in all the videos. I put it in the community tab, and I went ahead and extended it because it seems like whenever I do flash sales, the last day should be popped, and I be feeling bad about saying, no, the sales up. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. But therefore, that said, there's also a $25, 15-minute um, two-question um, to answer read special as well um, for $25. And there's also the 30-minute sale that is $50 at this time. It's usually $65. So y'all say y'all shmoney. Shmoney, my next is pop. I need that. Say your shmoney, honey. Okay? So, without further ado, we're going to get into these intuitive messages for the sign of cancer. My water, my water babies for the month of May. All right? So, sign of cancer. What I got for you guys is new love angelic help hygiene past life control issues empath obsession plot twist come on now dreams self sacrifice passion fear of loneliness self worth telepathy Heart chakra, body on fire. Oh, who hot hot? Y'all made my little kundalini. Who hot hot? Cancer never hot hot. It's like, oh, cancer. Y'all ain't grown. I'm going to get the bill. I think I like that one though. I need some pieces. 
a life purpose, lessons, wealth, belief in self, investments, synchronicity, collaboration, shadow self, pregnancy, health issues, truth, and confirmation. Okay? So you guys, if the intuitive message is being resonate with you, then this is definitely your message. And let's talk about it. Let's get 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 it. Oh. All right. So the overall energy around my cancers for the month of May is going to be the nine of hearts. So a lot of you guys are focusing on wish fulfillment, focusing on the things that you've been trying to manifest. It's harvest time, cancers. A lot of you all literally have the gift of foresight. Of foresight. Focus. I'm focused, man, during this time, okay? Nothing, no person, place, or thing shall shake up your damn show. No monkey shall stop the damn cancer show. It's not no no damn soul that can, at this point, cancer has, you, you're coming into this space where you're realizing how long it's been that you really, really focus on the self and your dreams. It's more so this energy of, I'm tired of being self-sacrificial there is the energy of legalities i'm also hearing assets so some of you guys could be um, discussing assets or some type of like collaboration when it comes to investments as well as some type of assets it's like investment some of you guys may be receiving some sort of assets uh, from either an inheritance or some type of uh, partnership and you may be investing your portion of some type of assets or researching on how to do so during this time okay and so, doing things a bit differently, y'all, this time. All right, uh, we're going to use um, we're going to be using the Doreen Virtue Crystal Angel. Well, I'm sorry, Doreen Virtue Archangel Oracle messages. Okay, I know y'all. I don't. I don't. Y'all don't even want to look at them damn romance angels. I know y'all tired of seeing them damn romance angels. Shout out to Doreen Virtue. I rock with you, Miss Girl. You, we here, sis. But I'm tired of seeing them damn cards. And maybe it's the area of me that y'all was like, Mother, we're going to tag you in. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of seeing the fucking cards. Okay? So we're going to use a different deck. The Archangel or deck. Okay? To get your spirit message this go around for the month of May. Okay? Your message that you guys received was it comes from Archangel Chamuel and it's peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Okay, so some of you all, I feel like you may be in this space where you're releasing a lot of things. You're releasing a lot of your, you're not seeing your situations from the past. You're in this place of reflection. But instead of reflecting over the past where you could once see where someone hurt you and how bad that they did you, you guys are being able to appreciate this person and appreciate the things that they did because you're accepting the fact that they were simply the catalyst to your awakening, the catalyst to your growth to move you towards your life purpose and your life path. There's a need for you guys to release any anger during this time. Some of you guys have, or will be having, um, some of you guys are going to receive some type of help moving forward. For some of y'all, this could involve an archangel. For some of you guys, it could involve some type of father or brother figure that could have passed away. Some of you all, those feelings may be intense during this time. You could be, um, kind of going through having to uh, release some, um, underlying feelings of, um, possibly an ancestor or maybe a family member who could have lost something about the number three. This could have been three weeks ago, three months ago. There's a need for you to accept the fact that souls never die, baby. We just simply travel amongst the realms to reincarnate again, which is why somebody had to go in order for somebody to come into the room. It's the ebb and flow of life. Man. Understand that for some of you all, some of y'all, this is part of this pregnancy that I picked up on. Some of you guys, you have a child that's being, um, it's coming from, if you lost a brother, this child will be a boy. And whoever I'm speaking about, your, okay, this is for a few of y'all. Andrew. Anson. Alan. Edward. Chance. London, Eric, with an A, with an A, okay, okay, 
Arno. Alan. Some of you guys, this this um this brother, this father figure will be reincarnated again through a child. And whomever I'm speaking to, you actually thought that you were infertile and could not have children. You will finally give up and surrender. Boom. Okay. So some of y'all there's a need for you all to release these fears, release the hurts. Okay. For some of you all this could be um a child that you could have lost, it could have been a boy, okay, or you could have recently lost a child that was like possibly an adult child, a teenage child, but I do see a reincarnation of a child that can even come in the form of a grandchild, okay, especially if you lost a father, a son, a brother, that's going to be very strong, there's a need for you to remain peaceful, remain, the, pretty much become the eye of the storm in the midst of all of the damn chaos, in your external, it's a bit un uncomfortable because Mars, our damn chaotic ass planet, that 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 nook if you book is in Cancer. So there's a need for you guys to keep your peace during this time. Watch your temple babies, okay? And don't say some shit that you ain't willing to deal because that soul will be double edged during this time. You better look Saturn up. If you're having to release things, understand that. It this could definitely be having to uh, uh what well, definitely having to do with the Plutonian. Or plutonic energy that's happening. Pluto is retrograding. That has to do with Scorpio energy, death, rebirth, reincarnation, past lives. So if you're having to release things, it is going to be a bit uncomfortable for a lot of you guys. I'm seeing in the month of May, but I am seeing it is going to work out for you. It's happening for you, not to you. It's a bit uncomfortable because as my babies, you guys used to your nurturing energy used to this kind of like that of a mom who used to taking care of everything, everyone, and being in control of everyone else's ebb and flow. But there's a need. During this time, a lot of you guys are going to realize that the only control that you have is within your own world, even if you are partners to someone. Okay. There are things that are happening around, happening around um, your circumstances in your everyday lives. And I definitely feel like a lot of you all are usually being able, you're usually able, you're used to being able to kind of jump out there and, you know, throw, throw your damn cape on and like, dun, 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 I have no fear of cancers here. And, you know, you're going to find yourself in the door in the situations where, um, some of y'all just may not fucking feel like it. You, you feel, you dry, you're tired, you're drained, you're tired. Some of you guys may also be in this flow of having to leave another job to move towards something that you love to do, your life purpose. Some of you guys are I'm hearing elder sometime. Um okay. I feel like some of you guys are like sometimes you want to move forward on whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and then there's another time where you guys are just kind of sitting still. If that makes sense. It's like you you you, uh, you, you have the you have a grand idea but you're just sitting on it. It has to do with confidence that I'm hearing as well. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. Which leads me to your next angel message. Which comes from Archangel Gabriel. Leadership. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position. And lovingly guide others. Again, it's happening for you. Not to you. You guys are going to come to understand, especially those on this twin flame journey. For those of you on the twin flame journey, for those of you who are um, who are able to kind of dip back and forth through, as well as astral project through, uh, kind of like through this past life, past life progression type energy, or this energy of um, being able to kind of dip back and forth through the akashic, as well as through um, meditation and kind of go back, like cipher through your past life. Some of you guys are literally able to astral project into different realms going backwards or forwards. You've been focused on, a lot of you guys are going to be strictly focused on spiritual abundance, okay? For some of you all, you're focused on new love, but there's a need for you to understand that you are the love in which you are the love in which you attract. So because of that, the more energy, the more love, the more time, the more care, the more nurturing, the more pampering that you put into yourself, you radiate that love that is going to do that or more into your life. A love that can assist you with growing. Okay, but some of you guys have to take that leadership and, and, and showing the motherfucker lead by example. I'm going to show you how to treat me. For some of you all, this has to do with your life purpose. For some of you all, this could also be tied to music. Others just have to do. Some of y'all are clothing designers. Who makes dresses? Someone makes beautiful summer dresses. 
they're really thin. Looks like they're like silk, silk or bead, silk or some type of material that is like damn close to silk or bead material that you make with. Maybe you've been thinking about it. Maybe you've been drawing up things. You don't know how to go about distributor, distributing costs. I'm here in marketing as well. Educate yourself, baby. You've been planning for about two years, whoever I'm talking to with this. It's time to jump out there. Some of you all really need to know that you are angelically angelically protected during this time. Some of you all may be finding feathers around. Just know that when you find those feathers, that's just your ancestor letting you know I got you, baby. And that you are on the right path. And that you continue that you that you should continue to move forward. Okay. Some of you all may be having um Some of y'all may be seeing um, white birds during this time. Some of y'all, you're going to be attending a funeral during this time and they have some type of bird release. You could have some type of epiphany or some type of, um, receive some type of esoteric information from the spirit in the midst of the damn, in the middle of the damn bird release at the funeral. And if you just did recently lose someone, my condolences, baby. Some of you all may have some type of angelic, angelic encounter. And that's also tied to some form of a white bird as well, like a confirmation. Some of y'all may not know if you had a damn angelic encounter. You just want to make sure. But am I tricked? Was that an angel? A white bird is your confirmation. I heard white winged animals. This could also be in the form of a moth, butterflies, dragonflies. Okay. The last thing that you guys got is um, Archangel Zadkiel. Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Okay. So for some of you all, you may be trying to grow um, as far as your knowledge and wisdom or the, the philosophical side. Um, of of cancer um and some of you all may be researching you know different types of impacts some of you all may also be re researching um the history of ge geometrical symbols and how they can actually um how they can be combined with the law of attraction some of you all are researching past life karma um and how to connect them with the planetary alignment now some of y'all i'm hearing astro astrology so some of you guys are getting into uh divination some of you guys it could be a form of african divination this could be you or the person who you're dealing with and it could be ancestral tie some of you guys are also um some of you guys are going to have a massive ass crown chakra act uh, activation. For those of you who have been feeling this pull or gravity, like kind of gravity, like spirit is trying to gravitate you to be outside, there is some type of enlightenment, epiphany, download that you guys are going to be receiving while in nature. You're really needing to get more active during this time. Some of y'all also may be going back to school during this time as well. Or if you were trying to question to go back to school for some type of, um, I heard mental. Some of y'all could be going to school for psychology. Some of you guys could also be wanting to um, get more involved with either children or um, young adults who have like or who are like who have mental issues. And I definitely feel like the men, uh, mental health is something that we should definitely talk about more. So because there's so many people sitting in jail for crimes that yeah they did commit, but they committed these crimes and they were raised in homes where they were mentally abused, physically abused for some, you know. we That's a subject that should be raised more. So whomever this is for, baby, I push that. I commend that. And it does look to be successful. So stop being scared. Whomever this is for, you have a life purpose around helping people with mental abuse because you could have had a... Your mother could have been mentally challenged you of I'm talking to. You could have also had a younger brother that was mentally challenged that you could have raised. Light will be shed on a situation where you feel as if you didn't have enough clarity. There will be um, information that will be, and for some of you all I'm hearing unexpected, so for some of you all um, there will be unexpected news that could be involving um, some type of travel, some type of business opportunity. It's going to be something that's going to require you to educate yourself further. It's just going to kind of give you the, the 
the first gradual steps to move forward, okay? And I feel it being more so it's coming in with it's feeling that it's feeling like that of a blessing, that of something that is material. Harvest, I'm hearing harvest, harvest time. I'm hearing slot machines. Who's going gambling? Some of y'all may be being pulled to the casino during this time. I'm hearing Venus, Venus, Lady Luck is on Lady Luck is on your side. For those of you who have done the work, Jupiter Flynn, bless your game, baby. Okay, what messages do you have for my Cancerians in love for the month of May? Okay, okay, cars jumping everywhere. Okay, so some of you guys, yeah. Some of y'all, there will be a reconciliation with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who um, you could have cut off. Ultimately, I feel like this had to do with self-worth. Some of you guys in the month of May, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person, there could be some type of change in the dynamic that comes. I feel like it's something this could have to do with communication. Either you or this person could receive some type of communication, or you could be receiving communication from this person. This person could be saying that they want to keep their options open, which for some of you is going to leave you feeling a bit disappointed because you feel as if you put in about you put in this work. You're going to feel backstabbed or betrayed. And for some of you all, you may um, you may be reconciling with a fire sign just to find out that this person is still the same old person. Same shit, cancel. Okay. For some of you all. Some of you could have a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person could be younger than you. This could also be someone who you have children with or someone who wants a stable. Um, they want to move forward with you. They want to offer you something stable. I feel like some of you have a stable offer on a damn table with a Capricorn towards Virgo, but you so damn busy focused on and um yeah. Some of y'all could some of you all, I'm reading this as well. Some of you all could be. Some of you guys could be focused on someone from your past, and in the midst of, or some of you guys could be uh, kind of checking in on someone from your past. I feel like someone, this could be you or the other person checking in on someone's social media. And I feel like somebody getting ready to break their own heart because they're going to see that someone victoriously move forward. But I definitely feel like someone did communicate either will be or already have because I'm, I'm hearing past. So I'm hearing this could have been the past or someone could have communicated with you um, or you the other person canceled that they wanted to um, you know I I do want to reconcile with you, but I also want to leave my options open because I want to, I don't want the change to be forced. And I feel like that broke the heart of someone else. And I feel like someone stayed optimistic with hopes that, you know, either they could change another person's mind or looking to see something different in what they actually saw or what they will be seeing here is possibly... Somebody could actually see that you actually moved on with someone else, Cancer. Offer that stable, okay? For some of you all, this can involve a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you, you could have cut this person off due to wanting to take a leap of faith, possibly with an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could have also done that to you, but it seemed like this person could have also recently had a damn unexpected. Uh, turning at a damn wheel where they had to end a cycle with someone or maybe that could have been what was preventing you guys from moving forward in the past this person could have been um not serious about relationships not sure what it is the hell that they want to cancel was like okay well you know i know what i want so and out right now i want you to get the fuck out of my energy okay this is about self-worth this is about acceptance you know and surrendering surrendering to trying to control or expect a particular outcome for some of you all you have to leave some yeah Damn it, I just turned on here. This girl's getting good. For some of you all, you could be um, closing one cycle of your life, possibly involving a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, okay? Or for some of you all, you could have ended a cycle in your life or ended a karmic period or a toxic period with this person in your life. For some of y'all, this is definitely somebody from your past, okay? You know this person. For others of you, you're walking away from someone in your past you could have recently reconciled with, okay? Because I definitely feel like you wanted to keep your options open for whomever this person is. Y'all smashed. I feel like some of y'all could have had... Y'all could have made... And, you know, 
after that, this person was like, okay, when you hit this, we go together. And counsel was like, no, I'm trying to work on my pinnacles. I'm trying to make sure I can offer something stable to anybody. You know, not just you. It's not personal, baby. I just want to make sure I can offer this to anybody before I make a move, move a movement forward and offer this commitment because I know I am loved. So I know, baby, once you had this love, baby, this, this is love like you ain't never had love be. Is no. And for some of you all, you're dealing with someone who's very impatient. They talk very reckless. And this person wants what they want. So, Cancer, I feel like for those of you who reconcile with the person like this, you're finally going to decide to close this cycle. And when you do, a lot of you all have a cycle that's coming very unexpected, out of, out of the woodworks, one, closing one cycle and moving into another one, okay? For some of you all, this definitely could involve children. Some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. And for some of y'all, I'm feeling this energy here. Some of y'all could have broke up with somebody or just recently closed the door with somebody and going to find out that you're going to have to reconcile with this person because you're going to experience some type of change with expansion of child coming. So there's going to need to be some type of healthy boundaries that's going to be set going forward. But I do see things becoming stable and stabilizing. I feel like this person just got to... Some of y'all here in midlife, this person could be going through a midlife crisis, y'all. Some of you all, some of you all could have, um, some of y'all could actually be trying to cut out for Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because this person continuously hurt your feelings. I feel like some of y'all could have found something while you were snooping or will be finding something while you're looking. Um, I feel like, and for some of you, I'm here and fall in the lap. So some of y'all, this could literally fall in your lap because I feel like you gave this person the opportunity to tell the truth in the past. Some of you all, you could have asked this person that they cut off an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And for some of you all, this person looked you in your face and told you, yes, they did, but they did not. And there's a need for you all to heal. You just accept the fact, you know what? This relationship, before it drives me crazy, baby, I got to heal from all of this toxicity. Some of you guys wanting to move, some of you guys could have a Capricorn that wants that you could have cut this person off. Or this person could have cut you off in the past. Or well, there could have been, some of y'all, you feel like this person's communication was dry. It was like very, it was dry. Like you didn't really like the way this person communicated. This person could have been an asshole. I feel like you guys could have worked very well on a practical level, but on the level of, yeah. And some of you guys, some of y'all could be dealing with the Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like you're, you're wanting to heal and this person wants to continuously hold on to you. This person's pretty codependent, I'm feeling. Like someone... Really? Cancer, I'm hearing this person need you. They are, they don't know you they don't know you until until they need you. For some of you all. Some of y'all intuitively you could have felt this person coming. If you're dealing with air signs, Gemini Libra Aquarius, y'all, I literally see a need to heal. I definitely feel like two people feel as if they're stuck to one another. There is stalking, there is childish communication going on. I feel like somebody wants to, they really like fucking cake. Somebody likes to eat, they had a cake and eat it. I hate this. You know, it really don't make sense to me. What else the fuck did you do with cake? We can come back to that, but whatever. But I feel like you're dealing with air signs. Someone really is kind of in there. There's indecisiveness here. There's insecurity here. Codependency. I feel that someone, some of you guys are dealing with someone who you can't even go to the mailbox by yourself. Like this person we didn't know where you going, who you talk to, what was, I, I'm here, mother, this person could also have some type of mother issue, some of you guys could also be, um, some of you guys could want to take a leap of faith with the Capricorn towards Virgo as well, but some of y'all, this could be a Taurus, but I feel like there could be, there, there's like a motherly energy around it, like, this could be someone's child's mother, I feel like it's 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 a it's an energy of avoiding confusion, like with the mother. Some of y'all are dealing with a mother-in-law need to stay in her fucking place. Yeah, yeah. You so okay. So a lot of you all, you're having to release this because the new cycle that you're going into, baby, is divine love, whether it's a twin flame or actual life partner. I definitely see it's a love that's protected. For some of y'all, it's involving a Piscean. For some of you all, this is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this is going to be after 
after choosing yourself in a cycle, choosing your happiness, what it is that you want, and just choosing to con to to stop trying to hold on to people who are showing you that they are not worth being held on to. Nor your sanity trying to hold on to make situations work that are not for your greatest good. Can this can this person offer you growth? Can you build with them? Do you honestly see any solid foundations being set? What the hell? Because with Saturn in town, what you do now will affect the next at least four to nine years of your life, boo. So it's time for you to make some real life serious decisions. Some of you all, there needs to be boundaries set around a child's mother or a, 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 someone's mother before someone is comfortable. Because I definitely feel someone loves this person, but there's a sense of security here. Do you got my back? Do you hella hot water? Because you let your mama talk to me like, you know, and I'm not with the shits. And there needs to be boundaries set here. For some of you all, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, some of y'all, this person could be trying to hold on. Okay. If you're dealing with, Vir with the earth sign, I definitely feel that there is, it's something about, it's like this person on, in the external may appear to be a king or queen of pentacles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything that good ain't go. This person know how to make shit look like the shit okay even though this person has a lack a lack mentality or a poverty mindset this person could also be trying to hold on to you because they have abandonment issues this person could have made a decision or um made a choice that was very toxic and possibly karma this person literally could have walked into their own karma chasing money period okay which assisted you which which was a catalyst situation for you to walk away from someone some of you all could have been manipulated or used by an earth sign. And some of y'all could be some type of truth and clarity or could be going through that now. In, like, I'm here in the middle of May. So some of you all could find out that someone was using you for money. But now this person then walked into their home. Now this person wants to come back and hold on to you. For some of you all, they still codependent and they're still behind money. Now they see that I moved away from this person. And as soon as I moved away from this, away from it and left this person out in the cold, this person's money elevated. Someone's wanting to come in and balance the situation, offer you an apology, actually offer you something stable, but you don't trust it. For some of you, it's definitely a tourist. You don't trust it. So you're just going to wait. See if I can. Okay, I'm going to listen to you. But before I take this leap of faith, for one, Check your mama for some of y'all. Check your mama till they get out of my business. For others, your actions need to speak louder than your words because at this point, I'm tired of you having me out here just moving blind. I'm going here. One thing I ain't blind about is the fact that spinning this damn wheel, the decision of that is in my hands. Some of you guys have a solid offer coming in from an Aries with this food card. Some of you guys could be leaving the tourists and could actually be walking right in the hands of a damn Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay? But there was some type of truth about money. Somebody making a very greedy decision with the intention of money and they walk right into possibly some damn baby mama issues over here. Palmer's a bitch. Okay? So like for some of you all, this could have hurt you because uh, you, you could be someone who could be uh, you could have been going through your health. I'm here for some of you all. So there is a need to forgive and just kind of be grateful for uh, the release of this situation because baby, there's victory. The over energy was the six of one. There's victory moving forward. Okay? And for some of y'all, it will be with the fire sign. It would feel sad. For those of you who are dealing with um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I do see this person could be new. Could be another Cancer. Could be a Pisces. This person could be new in your life. This is definitely love covered in divinity, baby. I definitely feel like some of you thought you was going to keep your options open if you're dealing with a water sign. I'm just going to cut the situation off, keep my options open, move away from this, and then boom. Here go my damn, here go my damn king of damn cubs. He's right here. Got counterparts. You're dealing with water. I feel like this person could be new. Or this could be someone who you give an opportunity to who you didn't see at, see that way before. Person could be a Virgo. 
but you guys are going to be in this midst of solitude, reflection, gaining look at gaining the wisdom from the situation, okay? For those of you who are dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like for some of you all, this is new love. For others of you, this is a reconciliation. And it's a reconciliation that someone, where there was, there could have been someone being resistant in the past. There could have been someone who was greedy in the past. There could have been someone who left someone in mental conflict in the past as far as which way that they wanted to go. It's like this person is wanting to reconcile. For some of you, this person is coming in to offer an apology to make right. And for some of you, maybe this person had to go back and like rectify some type of past decisions that they made before like like close their close up karmic doors before moving forward. Some of you guys, this could be a Sagittarius here with this temperance card. And some of you guys. This could be divine timing around some connection with possibly a Piscean. who could be the mother and father of your children. You may have felt rejected from this person in the past. Or maybe felt as if they offered you bare minimal. But this person is coming back to give you not only clarity, but for some of you all, commitment. Okay? Um, best advice, you all, would be to stay receptive. To, can, can, to, to continue being patient, loving. And most of all, forgiving towards yourself and the other person. But you guys, a lot of you all are very intuitive. You knew it was coming anyway. Just go with the ebb and flow and just know again for you, not to you. Okay? So this is what I have for my cancers for the month of May. A lot of you all are really needing to make a decision. And there's no need confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Remember that. All right? So you guys, many, many, many blessings to you all. Much love, peace, and I'm a family. Give me a review with your personal. Bye, y'all.